What up, Virgos? Hi, Phoenix here. Welcome back to my channel. Hello to all of those of you who may be new. Let's just jump right into your reading. I know I've been gone, but oh, I miss you guys so much. Life 2020. It's been doing that to you, girl. Just like with everybody else. Okay. I mean, <laughs> busting it out straight out the gate. All right. Um, if you go back to the very beginning before I picked up the deck, actually, I don't know if I had done that before I pressed record or right after, but this, uh, death card was on the top of the bottom of the deck and, uh, Virgo Scorpio energy has been profound. Um, you know, it, Earth signs, earth signs, you have been doing very well with water. You have been doing very well with fire i haven't seen so much um about air uh fire and water even and air just seems to be you know like this element that is able to uh come and go as it pleases with everybody else this year um the magician okay I... now did i say I think I did in the Gemini video. If any of you all have Gemini in your sign, too, in your sign, in your chart as well, I think I had said that, you know, Gemini's energy can be associated with the fool, which it can, which it can, but we know that its typical card is usually the magician, right? Um, Princess of Cups. Yeah, this deck um, has prince and princesses of uh, each of the elements, you know. Uh, oh, oh, okay, and all of those. Got it. Where did you? And it shows back up. Okay. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies, Virgo, 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 Virgos. Your message has been similar to ones that I have been giving you in the past several readings. Let me actually make sure I'm being politically correct. Because, honey child, how are we still on this ride? Okay, so the last one was a little bit different um, back in June. Let's, let's, let's back it up a little bit. So I'm just going, I'm going back into the storehouse here. <clears throat> okay. I, <laughs> I have to admit, I do get a little bit annoyed if I'm giving the same message because we, we haven't learned yet. And I think what baffles me with this being a continuation forward for you, Virgos, and I'm going to say you probably want to go stop by and, and look at that Gemini reading, okay? Um, because there there's some similarities energetically here, um, even if some of the cards are not the same. What baffles me is... I'm gonna stop because that's more of my human side. Let me let me tap back in. Let me tap back in. Virgos, you all are so meticulous. Can somewhat be calculated. But the choices that you make, the decisions that you that you make all have a purpose. And I can't see the purpose in this anymore. Was it that uh, Iyanla who was just like, not in my house or what, whatever she said? I don't mean to laugh at the situation, um, but I just, I can't see the purpose of still going through this anymore, Virgos. The Tower, the Magician, the Princess of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords, the Death card, the Devil, and Nine of Pentacles. There is so much pull, push and pull 
in this situation that it literally is making my head spin. Four of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. It says truce, but I feel like this is the truth. You have got to get into the bottom of why you are still allowing whatever this situation is to live, Virgos. Why? 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 So we have the tower here. I feel like the tower has just been, you know, kind of in the background the entire time for all of the messages that have had to deal with this. And this message has been specific to you needing to let something go, but you are choosing not to, whether it is a person, a place, or a thing. Like I said, this month in particular, I do not feel as if I can pinpoint on what type of connection we're talking about here, okay? Um, in regards to other people. And this magician card, you know, like as much as I want to sit up here and try and paint another scenario, I feel like this is you, Virgos. You have been orchestrating this entire thing. You have been the one that has extended it past its expiration date. Why? Princess of Cups, when I was looking at it and what I was saying, you know, this deck has the princess and the prince of cups or, you know, the prince and the princess in every single element, which would, I think like it's more a, a gender related thing, but you know, that doesn't matter when we're, when we're talking about tarot and oracles and, and, and that type of thing. And so um, I'm thinking more of this, like this, there's this message, there's this message, there's this message that is just not coming in or, or it could be that finally a message is coming in but then you're sitting in this space, the seven of swords space, this betrayal space. But honey, child, it was always there. You knew this. You knew this. You knew this. You knew that it was coming. You knew whoever this other person was, what they were capable of. And you still allowed for this to go this far. I know that you can take this, Virgos, because you have, you know, uh, less sensitivity when it comes to speaking the truth and although i'm not i'm not trying to hurt your feelings but this is on you this is on you so what is it going to take you know um to, to have this move forward like this nine of pentacles card which should be this grand energy this this great energy of finally being able to manifest um what what's necessary i don't feel that from this because of the anchor uh, and, and the weighing down of both the death card and the devil card here um could this be timing maybe i'm feeling more when it comes with this death card that it has to do with mercury retrograde uh, which is going to be started in scorpio and then ending in libra before you know mercury retrograde is over and you are ruled by mercury so maybe now Finally, there's some type of epiphany that happens. Maybe, again, there's some type of message that comes through for you. But, golly, like this this is on you. This is on you, Virgos. This is on you. Like you are literally, I said the truth. You have got to get down to the bottom of the truth. Who chooses to lay on swords? Come on. Who chooses? Who? What? How? 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 How do you feel but that is something that you just want to do for the rest of your life. I can't, I, uh, You have anchored yourself to something, Virgos, and this is where the similar message comes um, from the Gemini reading. With the devil card here, you have anchored yourself onto something that never was supposed to be. Um, never was supposed to go, you know, to this distance that you really wanted to. The, the, the train stops here. And because you have all of this stuff that you still need to work through, you can't have this yet. You can't have this yet. You're blocking this from coming all of those things until you deal with this until you let it go
Um, for everybody's reading this month, I'm pulling two oracle messages. One has to do the, the message itself, what's typically done. The other one is the astrological power that I think is really going to be influencing your sign for the next few weeks. Okay. So let's get the message. yawn like <laughs> I mean legitimately I just feel so fatigued and lethargic right now and I mean God. <sighs> you're just you're tired you're drained Messages in here. You're tired, you're drained. And you've kept yourself in that space. Why? Um, show yourself. say it you gotta make it clear sorry you guys look this is this is what I'm talking about you know you know that the end the end the end the end is here and yet round and round we go round and round we go every day why i wish i i knew how to can i now, I want y'all to see it. I don't want there to ever be a question that I pick something. So, To do more than that, please, Kirka. Cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life. not vibrant right now again lethargic tired exha exhaustion infinite abundance abundance is pouring into your life You're trying to it's trying can't find its way i mean literally Laying on four swords. Who does that? Pluto. Transformation. What was I saying about this Virgo Scorpio energy that I was feeling? Then we have Saturn. It's true. It's 
the truth. The truth. Virgos, that's that's all I got for you, my loves. Um, I, I definitely expect to hear from a few of you for more of a specific reading into your particular situation. Um, you can email me at the Ivy Phoenix Guidance at gmail.com. Um, follow me on all social media networks. That's Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, over there on Twitter. Like, share, comment, subscribe, follow. Do all that great stuff. Come to the community. But most importantly, Virgos, I'm with you here. As much as I was giving you a hard time, I do it out of love. I do it out of love. I do it out of love. Um... But I'm with you. I, I'm holding your hands. I'm, I'm, I'm helping you cross this bridge, but you've got to cross it. Other, I, King of Pentacles, like again, blocking your blessings. I'm just being nosy at this point. King of Wands, passionate energy with all this. Ace of Pentacles, like you have these opportunities to start over. You have these opportunities to return back to yourself you know, in a new way too, so that you won't ever have to repeat this lesson again. But um, that has to be your choice. It has to be your choice. Love you guys.